smells like an auction car. What's that smell like? <laughs> leaky, leaky, leaky. <laughs> okay, so I've been having this issue. Uh, it's running lean. I've had some lean codes, bank one and bank two, and usually that means it's a vacuum leak. Uh, so we're gonna smoke test it today. But you know, before I do that, I have a little scanner. I'm gonna show you what the fuel trims look like with a vacuum leak. I'm gonna go start it up real quick and show you a little scanner down there. It would help if I had keys. Okay, so the car's running, go to live data. Yeah, so in idle, it's like 18%. When you rev it up, it, goes, it drops down a lot. 5%, 2%, 1%. So if it's like a sensor issue, like a mass air or something like that, it's gonna be screwed up no matter what you do, if you rev it up or not. It's gonna be compensating throughout all the RPMs. Not just at idle, where it pulls the most vacuum. Piece of shit. BMWs, uh some reason make all their intake stuff out of plastic and that's what's leaking. What are the plastic hoses or the rubber that turns plastic too? <laughs> everything everything that's plastic in a BMW it leaks and it cracks. Yeah. So and we're gonna break some more shit just just trying to find the problem. Just barely even touching it stuff's gonna break. Like any type of connectors or anything, they're gonna fucking just break. Yeah. Or they're already broken and it can just Everything comes unplugged. What do you like crackers, huh? Like crackers. <laughs> Everything's like it's made of really old crackers. <laughs> All right, let's smoke it out. I don't really want to listen to my compressor, you know. Yeah, it's gonna kick on with that leak, huh? Uh, sure. I'm gonna go ahead and put the smoke in this hose here. I don't know where it goes, I just know it's a vacuum source. Sounds like a bong, but it's not smoking. Yeah, it's hard to shoot out some smoke. It's gonna get thicker and thicker as it warms up the oil. So I'm gonna hold down the button and let it heat up, just to let the smoke get uh, thicker and more noticeable, and then I'll go to put it in the, uh, in the vacuum, that vacuum hose. Huh? Yeah, that's good. See it? Yeah. So that machine there, those things are insanely expensive. You're a normal person that's ever gonna buy that because they're at least a thousand dollars. I'm a ASC master tech, so I need that shit. <laughs> and I bought it with my own money. Good for you. Internet. Amazon, right? Put a link in the description. Yeah, internet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so. You know, I've seen videos of people like. Haters at, you know? The haters. Yeah, I know, right? Haters can go make their little smoke machines out of fog machines. So. <laughs> hey, I thought about doing that, man. <laughs> they like charcoal and shit. I think this dude just found the, uh, the vacuum, the source of the vacuum leak. This turkey. Yep, still see it. Yeah, back there. Yeah. If the internet knows what's back there, it'd be cool if you like commented on that, told us what it was. Cause we just work on Chevrolet and Dodge. Don't <laughs> 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 really do anything like this at work. <laughs> I know, right? All right. So the smoke looked like it was coming from back, like I guess the firewall behind the intake manifold. So. I ripped off all the stuff here to get easier, uh, easy access to it. Get a better look of where, exactly where it's coming from. Yeah, I think this hose back here is covered like an RTV. It's like, what do you think that is? Looks like RTV to me. Wow. It's like caked on there. And that's where the smoke's coming from. Like, I thought it was a water lube, but. It's pretty good. Wow. You never know what you're going to do with a used car, huh? Yeah, they just kicked a bunch of silicone over there just yeah, to stop yeah. the leak. So, I didn't really know what I was looking at. Alright, we saw the silicone. 
but it turns out that at some point this hose has got cut and they like connected it together with a piece of uh, super squishy hose down here. So it's super, I don't know what the fuck that is. Oh my god. So this is the source of the vacuum leak. Huh. Alright, cool. Wow. <laughs> BMW, uh, fucking you everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That motherfucker. Huh? Yeah, this guy was like behind the manifold, just sticking out. And I guess that fucker there runs to whatever is over there. So I'm thinking maybe I could just like go to the store, grab some hose, and put it on this guy and like bypass this piece of shit. Bypass it to wherever it ends up going on the other side of the motor. All right, so we gotta run to auto zone real quick to find some hose. The right size to go over this, and I'll probably just end up zip tying it. But yeah, it's gotta be just the right size to slip over. I don't know where they had it at. No, they have the spools in the back. Oh, do they? Yeah, like here, give me something to fix that. All right, you want me to keep recording this? Yeah, sure. Because it feels real awkward holding it. Heater hose or something, works, whatever. What does that carry? Fumes or is that uh, water? I think it's actually crankcase. It's just like yeah, a the heater hose is going to soften it. It's going to get all soggy. Yeah. Well, it'll be a temporary fix, I guess. It'll be good, good enough for now. Um, you said a foot? Yeah, that should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> That is like really hard to do, man. Why do you gotta turn everything into a dick? Uh, it's because we got dicks. Yeah. It's fun to play with your dicks, right? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Did you say it? Texas 20. So, just about every truck in Houston has <laughs> the Tahoe. That one has the HD mirrors. Oh, yeah, they went one step further. Yeah. The Tahoe or Yukon 20s, I guess he took it a step further with 24s. But is that a thing where you're from? Like in all the Silverados and Sierras, they put. Texas edition 20s. I wonder if there's like California edition 20s. <laughs> I know there's even Texas editions. And there's probably Oklahoma Texas Oklahoma editions. Yeah, they stick those 20s on like every truck every year from like just Oklahoma forever. 20s. Yeah, Oklahoma 20s. <laughs> Texas 20s. What? Where? Where Taco Bell. Give me a grilled steak burrito. <laughs> With. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, what was that box you got last time? That was gross, huh? They have the ch uh, double cheesy gordita box. That looks legit. Can't even say that. Bro. Double cheesy gordita crunch box. Say, I have to say crunch box. You gotta say the whole thing. You gotta say limited edition too. This <laughs> <laughs> on camera too. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. He's got drive through anxiety. Yeah, I have a bad. It's gonna be okay. Drive through anxiety is terrible. Go to give me an orange cream pop freeze. Thanks, Donnie. Is that what you want for real? Nah, I'm playing. Let me say that also. <laughs> Just give me the box with a mango Tito ice. Hi, how are you? I'm great. How can I help you? I'm gonna get two double cheesy gordita crunch boxes, please. That's good. And what flavor for your drink? Uh, one's gonna be a Mountain Dew, and the other is a mango tea, no ice. Mango tea with no ice, please. Mango tea. With no ice, yeah. You want ice or not? The... No ice, please. Mountain Dew. No ice. No ice. What up? That's it. Any sauce? Can I get some fire and mild, please? Ask for everything Bacardi everything sauce. Please? No, no. 1080, please come forward. Thank you. you. You know you fucked up the order, right? <laughs> Did I for real? You're not going to get ice in your mountain, do you? <laughs> I got ice in my house. What the fuck is wrong with people? Let me have that. No, hey, this is all you, man. We're both like getting ice. It's cold out of the machine. Oh, man, I get more, I get more mountain dew than ice. Yeah, you get like Good. three times the mountain dew with no ice. It's a scam. <laughs> Yeah, I have drive through anxiety like a bitch for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. What's wrong? 
wrong. It's alright, I have anxiety with everything else in life. Have you ever been there? I need to take you there. You should be eating there. Wendy's? No. Uh, Crispy chicken. It rolls. And it rolls. I've never heard of Dude, that. We should be eating there. If you don't have those in your state, I don't know what the fuck y'all do about. I don't know nothing. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. But those things are super rare and they're super badass. The chicken is good. The mashed potatoes are good. The gravy is good. Everything's good. It's all good. Chicken and rolls. <laughs> is it better than Popeyes? It doesn't have the like the flavor like Popeyes, you know. If you want that Cajun, a little bit of Cajun flavor, you know, as shicey as they are with that, it doesn't have that, but it's it's good enough. It's way better than KFC. KFC. Can you imagine going to a KFC buffet? You couldn't really eat that. Uh, you know? no. That that is good enough to be a buffet. Like, like you know me and buffets. I fucking hate buffets. That shit's good enough. Hey, how are you? Good. No ice. Yeah, so this is the only size they had and it's just a little bit too small But I think I'm gonna get a blade and cut off like the remaining uh, hose off the end And it should be good after that. Uh, thank you <laughs> Alright, so I got both of the uh, coupling and fittings cut off So push it to the hose Yeah, that's a really good fit Should be a better more permanent fix they're just slapping a tube of silicone over there like the uh, previous guy did he said he had some zip ties right hey <sighs> they're all right there no do you have zip ties yeah <laughs> all right okay no, i have everything here <laughs> i have everything all right so i got that hose rigged up on there i'm gonna go ahead and start the car and look at the fuel trims to see if they're looking better than what they were before i think before they were like plus 18 percent on the long-term fuel go ahead and fire it up and start looking at the fuel trims okay so this is pretty much what you want to see the uh, short term and the long term is basically canceling out it's negative 14 on the short positive 13 on the long term so basically it's going to work itself out before i want to say it was like positive 18 percent fuel trim so this is looking good after leaving it run for a while it should kind of relearn itself and it should drop down to maybe, I don't know, like 5% uh, fuel trim correction. I think anything less than 10 is okay. But yeah, negative 15, positive 15. Yeah, it's looking looking like it's going to work itself out after a while. So I'll check back in after a while. I think we fixed the issue. So it's looking pretty pretty promising. I guess I just need to drive it for a while and see what these numbers look like after, uh, after driving it for a little bit. Alright, so it's running so much better. I just thought I'd uh, do an update. Basically, the closer to 0% trims, the better. So right now it's at 0.8 uh, short and 0.8 on the long term. Now it's at zero on the short term. So yeah, it's just it's just running really good. I just wanted to show you that it, I guess it was actually uh, confirmed fix. So that's that's always cool.